Garmin the First Hunter is one of three possible final bosses in Bloodborne, and he ushers in a choice that splits the ending into three potential paths. The first one being when he offers you the choice to essentially give your life over and to wake up anew, having forgotten the horrible hunt and the dream, you wake up refreshed and everything's fine, and it's blissful ignorance, you don't know any better, you've forgotten it all. That's the first ending. No effort, you don't even fight Garamond, that's it, game over. The second option is to resist, at which point Garamond gets up out of his wheelchair and says, okay, here we go, here we go homie, let's fight, and then you fight, and he puts up a valiant effort, and at the end, uh, if you do your job right, you kill him, and then you take his place as the new hunter, the new head of the dream, so to speak. And if you have collected the three umbilical cords, then you get the option to fight the Great One, which had control over Garmin. And if you defeat him, then you actually become a baby Great One, quote unquote, and you all of a sudden have the powers of a god, seemingly. You are the new Great One, and it's come full circle. Now, these endings, at first, if you don't think about them, and if you just go through the motions, it seems like the first ending, the easiest one, seems to be the best. It seems like if you don't try anything at all, and you just say, okay, Garamond, decapitate me, bring it on, bro, and he cuts your head off, you wake up anew, you've forgotten the horrors of the dream, everything's fine, everything's great. It's like it never happened, and you're going back to life as normal. That seems like the best ending. Well, it's it's not though it's not and this is because the entire idea of bloodborne is that as you go through the game you're seeing new things you're exposing yourself to new things horrors that previously were unseen now you can see and you're going up against these great ones initially you thought you were just going up against these kind of hairy people with axes and stuff but no as you gain knowledge and insight specifically there's a reason why it's called insight you become more powerful, more powerful, more powerful, more insight comes more power. And then at the end of the game, you're asked if you want to give all that up. And if you choose to, good on you, go for it. But you're giving up that inherent power and you're going back to a state of weakness, just the same as you were at the beginning of the game, which is why it's considered the bad ending. Now, the second ending I find or at least the uh, potential of the second end ending, I find the most interesting and most intriguing. And this is all because of Garmin. Now Garmin, if you hear him throughout the dream, he has certain scripted dialogue sequences which are very interesting. I'm gonna play for you in just a second the two that I find most important. And I wasn't able to find these in my gameplay footage, so I actually looked them up and found the audio clippings, but here they are. Oh. Lawrence, what's taking you so long? I've grown too old for this. Of little use now, I'm afraid. Oh, Lawrence, Master Willem. Somebody help me. Unshackle me, please. Anybody. I've had enough of this dream. The night blocks all sight. Oh, somebody, please. <laughs> Good hunter, you've done well. The night is near its end. Now, I will show you mercy. You will die, forget the dream, and awake under the morning sun. You will be freed from this terrible hunter's dream. Now, the most striking and intriguing element of that second quote was that he's asking to be freed. These chains that are holding him in the dream, it's like a prison. He's grown too old, he's miserable. He wants to move on, he wants to die, essentially. It's a curse. But he's a prisoner to the Great One, the one that, essentially, he made a deal with the devil and now he's looking to be freed, but he knows how horrible it is. 
So when you come and you refuse, as he says, he says, I will grant you mercy and release you from this dream. It's, it is merciful because he knows how horrible it is to be in his position, to be the head of the, of, of the hunter's dream. It's a horrible thing. And so he's willing to be merciful to you and give you, uh, allow you to give up your insight, your knowledge. Uh, the night becomes even worse and muddied and horrible. You see these horrors. And so when you resist him and say, no, 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 you, you ain't chopping off my head today. He says, okay, Gammon joins the hunt. Here we go. He doesn't just flop over. He's an old man and he wants to die, but he doesn't just let you easily kill him. No, he puts in a huge and very, very, very difficult fight. For me and my playstyle, probably the most difficult of the entire series. And I know that makes me a noob or something, uh, but in, in the core game, it, without any DLC, he's probably the hardest fight for me. And I I was thinking like, oh, well, it's just because he's a boss in Bloodborne and, and it's Soulsborne. And they're all about difficulty. But no, I think there's an actual element of, of narrative tucked into his difficulty. He's putting on such a hard fight because he's trying to spare you. He's trying to give you what he didn't have, which is the freedom, the sleep. He didn't want you to be stuck in this dream like he was. So he puts on this fight trying to give you something, trying to help you by keeping you out of this dream and keeping you out of his position. But alas, you, you kill him and you take his place. And that, I think, is the real uh, amazing detail of Garmin. He's the probably, for most people, the final boss. The final uh, nail in the coffin in Bloodborne. And most people assume that the final boss is going to be the, the big bad guy that you've been fighting against this entire time. But no, the final person that you kill in the game is the only one who really wanted to help you. And I think that that's pretty amazing. I, I, I don't know. I, let me know what you think down in the comments. Am I just going crazy? Probably. Hey, did you like that? Well, that was just an extra of the full show that I do every single weekend. So if you haven't seen it yet, then you got to make sure to check it out. Links popping up everywhere in the description box as well. And subscribe if you haven't already to become a member of the bowel movement.